Balance Scorecard, step-by-step -step for government and nonprofit agencies. Book Report Presentation, NPM 5040, Managing the Nonprofit Organization, presented by Nicole Biggerstaff Vasquez. About the author, Paul Nevin has written six books on the subjects of performance measurement, strategy, OKRs, and the balance scorecard. He is a keynote speaker at conferences worldwide. In 2001, Nevin founded the Sinlosa Group, a consulting firm focused on helping clients develop and execute performance measurement. Nevin has developed performance measurement systems for Fortune 1000 corporations, nonprofit organizations, and public sector organizations around the globe. This book was written for the results focused reader who desires to turn strategy into performance. About the book. According to Nevin, the main theme of Balanced Scorecard Step by Step for government and nonprofit agencies is to educate and empower organizations to turn their strategy plans into performance at every level of the organization. The scorecard reviews this tool from three perspectives as a communication tool, measurement system, and strategic management system. Scorecard assists organizations with turning intangible resources such as intellectual capital, customer re relationships, and innovation into worth. Nevin writes this book in a clear conversational style. The book is user-friendly and a delight to read for the novice and challenging enough for the expert. Balance Scorecard Concept. The image here shows the Balance Scorecard created by Kaplan and Norton in 1996. The image shows you how the scorecard functions. The Balance Scorecard Concept. The concept was developed to measure an organization's performance and transforms an organization's mission and strategic plan into inclusive performance measures. Kaplan and Norton believe that organizations should incorporate the concept of balance in their measurement systems. The balance scorecard looks at an organization from four perspectives, as mentioned before. In more detail, the worth explains the financial perspective, including financial performance indicators, the customer or client perspective, including measures of customer satisfaction, the internal business perspective, including measures of operational efficiency and quality, and finally, the innovation and learning perspective, including measures of the organization's ability to adapt to changes in their environment. As you can see by the image here, often we feel that we don't have enough time to improve our performance. The Balanced Scorecard helps us with that. Here's the chapter overview of the book. The fundamentals of the Balanced Scorecard success begins with the established mission, values, and vision of the organization as a central thought throughout the development and execution of the Balanced Scorecard. Niven provides each of the 13 chapters as a practical step-by-step -step guide for any organization to use the Balanced Scorecard tool effectively. Chapter 1 through 3 covers the following. One gives a historic overview of the scorecard framework. Two discusses how to modify the scorecard to fit your organizational needs. And three, chapter three, helps the reader to build an effective team, obtain leadership cooperation, and discusses rationale for using the scorecards. The balanced scorecard concept, chapters 4 through 8, 
offers the training curriculum, refines your current mission, vision, and value statements, examines your strategy, and gives you opportunity for creation of a strategy map, and finally examines your measures, initiatives, and targets. Chapters 9 through 13 introduces the concept of cascading the scorecard, defined as goal alignment throughout the organization by using the strategy map at each level of the organization. Using the scorecard for linking your budget with strategy goals and utilizing strategy-centered management meetings to stay on task. And in the last chapter, Nevin introduces the concept of OSM, Office of Strategy Management. This position is vital to sustaining the balanced scorecard. Course-related content. Concepts that this presentation highlights are the concept of measuring performance. Measuring performance over time in an ongoing manner to evaluate the effectiveness and efficiency of the organization. If you can't measure it, you can't manage it. Nevin quotes, when you, measure, when you can measure what you are speaking about and express it in numbers, you know something about it. But when you cannot measure it, when you cannot express it in numbers, your knowledge is of a meager and unsatisfactory kind. The goal of this book is to help you do just that. Measure those things that you know to be important. Those areas that truly define your success and allow you to clearly demonstrate the difference you're making in the lives of everyone you touch. Welcome to your balanced scorecard journey. Our text from Worth quotes, performance measurement is an ongoing internal process used to collect and analyze data in order to track the effectiveness of programs on an ongoing basis. There is a growing number of tools available to help nonprofits develop performance management systems. Balance Scorecard Course Related Content the Balanced Scorecard, a performance measuring tool used to monitor the organization from different scopes, such as financial, customer relationships, employee satisfaction, and internal processes. Nevin states, we can describe the Balanced Scorecard as a carefully selected set of measures derived from an organization's strategy. The measures selected for the scorecard represent a tool for leaders to use communicating to employees and external stakeholders the outcomes and performance drivers by which the organization will achieve its mission and strategy objectives. Worth shares the balanced scorecard and variations on the concept has been adopted by some nonprofit organizations as a tool for monitoring indicators across dimensions. Like other models, it has its strengths and weaknesses. Conclusion The Balanced Scorecard tool is used to help organizations to achieve their mission with balance throughout the organization by developing a framework for communication, measurement, and strategy to obtain results. This book presented performance measurement in a practical and thorough way with useful tools such as agendas, templates, charts, and step-by-step -step guides, a map tool, and questionnaires to help any organization with implementing the scorecard concept in an exciting, attention-catching, and meaningful way. Thank you.